Muhammad Ali Yusuf, right? Yes, Muhammad Ali Yusuf. Okay. Uh -huh. as, we, as we wait for the rest, I'm going to introduce you to Madam Joy. She's going to be one of the coordinators of today's defense. She's from Cameroon. Your mic is off. All right. Greetings. Welcome. Thank you. I thought there were to be five. Yes, and we are still waiting for four of them. Uh, one more, one more person. Okay. Yes. Uh, Abdi, yes, and we are waiting for two, two more people. There are two, they're supposed to be six. Okay. So we are waiting for Mr. Idris. Yes. And, and Idris, uh, Omar, Omar. Omar is available. Uh, oh, yeah, there, there are two Omars. Yeah, two. We are waiting yeah. for Omar yeah. Mohammed Salah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think we can start with the person available while waiting for others. So, Mr. Mohammed Ali Yusuf, your topic today is about community knowledge, attitude, and practices towards tuberculosis among household heads in Mogadishu, Banadir region in Somalia. You can start your you can start your defense, please. Uh, representative for for presentation. Sorry. Can you give me a uh, to to present it? Present it. Uh, yes, BBC. yes, you can. Yes, you can start your presentation. Okay. Yes, uh, teacher, is it uh, visible? Yes, it is very visible. You can you can start. Okay. Okay. Warm greetings, uh, all of you, our teachers, and also my colleagues, uh, students. Uh, good afternoon, dear panelists. Thank you for for giving me this opportunity to to present my research paper. Uh, first, I introduce uh, I introduce to you. Uh, I am Muhammad Ali Yusuf and one of the students of Cosmodas International University um, in the School of Agriculture uh, and Sustainable Science uh, with the Masters of uh, Livestock Production and, and, and Healthy. Today my topic is uh, the knowledge, attitude and practice of uh, tuberculosis towards a uh, household health in Mogadishu, for the Chir District in Somalia. Uh, if you let me give my uh, presentation uh, I will try, inshallah, to 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 brief to briefly conclude. And firstly, uh, tuberculosis uh, is recognized as one of the most important uh, treaties to both uh, human and animal uh, health. Uh, you know, uh, it causes a uh, mortality, a uh, high mortality, and a uh, morbidity, and economic losses. And also, the WHO report is that in, in TB is one of the uh, second uh, leading causes of, of, of death uh, from infectious diseases. Uh, therefore, uh, it's the uh, most important 
and disease uh, as infectious in, in, in the following countries, like in, in, in the following countries in Africa, and especially in like, like Somalia. And therefore, the disease has a damage, high damage and in, 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 in economic and also uh, human life and, and also animal life. Okay, in Somalia, and the disease is endemic, one of the leading causes of uh, morbidity and also mortality. And and the report is say uh, and that at least it, uh, 12, 12,000 is put on positive cases occur in Somalia. You know, mm -hmm. and only and only three of them are detected as a positive and uh, receive a treatment. Team. Mm -hmm. And great. This uh, also uh, another problem is that the TB affects a uh, mostly productive age age group in in, in 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 the community in community, and this needs a, a special attention or or knowing more more about uh, the knowledge attitude and practice and uh, of this disease. Okay, as we know uh, or mentioned it in previous um, or, or before. It causes a million, multi-million dollar losses around the world and TB. And therefore, the study was carried to know the knowledge and practice of the community health and uh, how this uh, district in Malaysia, Somalia. And this why this is because to 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 get more follower information to increase to increase and in, in profession and strategies and in, 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 in national in national level of TB in Somalia. In Somalia, we know TB is a zoonotic disease. Also, we the parameters of this study was included in the how the people of the community uh, know this disease. And Hello? Hello? Yes, please. Mr. Mohammed. Yeah, yeah, teacher. I'm not uh, the one who talked. Uh, Mr. Omar, Mr. Mohammed is doing his presentation right now. Uh, we shall give you an opportunity to present yours once he's done. Kindly mute your, your, your mic if you're not the one presenting. When it's your turn, we'll call your name and uh, you on your mic. Okay, thank you. Uh, I can continue it. Yeah. Yes, you can continue. Co yeah, thank you, thank you. The objective of this study uh, was and uh, to to know was uh, to know. Sorry, it was to know the knowledge, attitude, and practice to this uh, human and bovine are both both they are tuberculosis uh, among the household holders, uh, owners including in the district. Uh, this is general. Uh, and subdivided into three uh, main main points or uh, three specific uh, knowledge and attitude and practices and practices that's the aim or, or objectives of the of the cd of the cd okay as the methods and methodology of the cd the design of this study was descriptive uh, descriptive study and also it was a uh, cross-sectional it's cross-sectional study this is because and the constitutional the researcher was used a uh, one point of time to, to collect the uh, to collect the data and it's creative in order to answer the uh, question is question is uh, who distributed into the into the uh, uh, respondent is a uh, research population of this study was 300 and of a household head is and the sample size was determined by the using a uh, solophonics formula solophonics formula and uh, it was uh, 171 of, of, of household heads in in Mogadishu, in Mogadishu, in order to know the knowledge actually and practice of the city. Okay. Sampling procedure of the city. This city was a number of ability means uh, the people uh, are, are not are not able or, or not an equal chance to to, to, to participate the city. The researcher was used in in a number of ability, specific, especially in, in, in uh, um, barbosis somebody, uh, and, and 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 we we collected it only for for those who are who have a uh, available information of and uh, uh, that uh, study. And this is in, in instrument was Hello. questionnaire. 
Yes. Yes, it is. Research, research instrument of the study was a questionnaire, questionnaire are most suitable and according to the time and also and and to to to, to spread and and, and 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 easily understand the question the the, the uh, respondents. The data was analyzed using by an, an SPSS that's called package. Then uh, we represent it we present it for frequencies percentages and and charges and charges and charges. And can you hear me, please? Yes, yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah. After that, uh, the result of the SAD, and as you see here in this table, and the respondents was all this, most of them uh, were the age and, and uh, were the age between uh, 31. And up to up to fifty, up to fifty, mostly. And uh, you know, the most of uh, people, and uh, in, in especially households uh, and heads, household heads, or uh, the people who closely related to the families, they are mostly, and uh, they are all all the people, they are all the people. And as you know, uh, as you see, the level of education of the respondents and uh, was uh, illiterate mostly. As you see, this chart. This figure, seventy percent of them uh, was uh, was uh, illiterate, illiterate, and this will reflect that the uh, knowledge knowledge of the of the people uh, uh, may be uh, may be may contribute may contribute the spread or transmission of the of the diseases and and uh, also causes and so on. And we will we will discuss later. Six of the respondents in figure three, and the six of the respondents. Uh, mostly were male, as you know, the most of uh, people uh, or most of the respondents in, in case of uh, livestock related, and uh, they are mostly predominantly they are uh, and, and they are males. It's very known to they are they are males, they are males, and uh, okay. And the question, the specific question is, or uh, we ask it and uh, the respondents they included were included in. How the people uh, know this disease? This disease, uh, you know, this disease we 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 we, we separate it into uh, two kinds, and one of an uh, and human or uh, human TB, human TB. That's uh, as as you see this chart. The most of the most of the respondent of household this they know well. Uh, they heard they heard most of them they heard and uh, uh, human TB, human TB, human TB. And and uh, as the negative, we also asked uh, them and, and if they if they had had and uh, the, the bovine tuberculosis, and there is a little information or little knowledge uh, of this of this disease. And uh, according to the to respondents, nineteen and only uh, nineteen point nine percent of them, nineteen point nine or uh, nearly approximately twenty percent of them only said they know they, uh, they had this disease and in, in, in bovine. Bofin, and this shows there's a limited knowledge of bovine tuberculosis, which is mostly uh, transmitted from from animals to 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 humans. To humans, okay. And as you see this table, table three, the TB, and we ask the TB, it's a disease that affects only only people, and most of the respondents they uh, answered uh, yes. They only know that they uh, they believe they had a belief. It, they are believed that uh, TB only affects the, the B1. And this also is another limited area of, of, of knowledge of the households or respondents that the TB is only a disease that affects B1 uh, 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 and, and, and is totally uh, wrong, wrong. And table four, and what do you hear of disease source of the information? And the most of the respondents or households given uh, information about uh, where they and, and hair or had the disease and uh, information TB the most clearly they answer it they had from uh, neighbors and uh, families and families and this show there is a limited information shared for this community in terms of of, of zoonotic diseases in terms of zoonotic diseases including uh, this disease of, of, of TB 
TV. Uh, another question uh, I asked it and the respondent is where and the cause of this disease. Most of them they answered that the cause of the disease and uh, they had a, a misbelief, misbelief in the exact cause of the TB. And most of them they believe that the uh, TB is caused by somehow weather. If the weather is changed or cold or 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 or, or warm, they may be they may be an, an increase an increase of uh, acquired or occurred in, in this disease. And 59% of them were answered that the cause of the TB is that the cause of the TB is weather, it's weather, and this is totally uh, uh, not true. And I, but they but they believe it. But they believe it. Table six is, and we also ask it the beneficial methods, most appropriate beneficial methods of of this TB. And as you know, the TB is a zoonotic disease, and the profession is not only and excluded in, in case of, of human TB, but you also need it in both, and, and accordingly to, to prevent it in both in or, or in animal and, and human, human uh, side. Okay, the most of the respondents and were answered that, or, or, or responded that, and the TB is prevented by using an early treatment, early treatment. Uh, uh, at percent 57 and uh, nearly approximately 58% uh, of them uh, were believed that the TB is prevented in, uh, by using an early treatment, early treatment, an early treatment. Uh, but it's regardless to, to, to use uh, this type of profession and use cooked, boiled animal products. The only 5.3% uh, of them believe that the uh, one of the prevention uh, methods of the disease, and this will increase or uh, may highly contribute the, the the spread of the disease to the to the, uh, to the community because they are a uh, little know uh, about the bovine bovine TB one of the uh, to bovine TB. In our discussion, and uh, the study has provided information of cattle uh, okay of, of knowledge and practice of a uh, household guide and both in and both in tuberculosis and, 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 and human TB also. The current said repeated as you see that the human TB was highly recognized. 91.8 or approximately 92% of them were uh, uh, know or had the human TB uh, household this car. Only 19.9% of them were had had the both in tuberculosis. So this uh, little this is a little number. And this study is similarly carried in, 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 in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. And it has a cross related and, and a cross related and result is, uh, as carried by a, a Bell at L214. This also um, has a close uh, agreement in the study carried in India, uh, Mysore city, uh, Ranuka and, and Bordera 2012. And okay, who found a high awareness of the human TB among the community, but a little and, and in in case of bovine tuberculosis. And the low recognition of uh, low recognition about the bovine TB noted that the percent is said closely related. And as we know, this study was found in low recognition of the bovine tuberculosis. And it's a TB transmitted uh, between animals and and. and and humanists or from uh, uh, livestock or profile to the uh, humanists and this has closely related study or agrees by 29.7 uh, percent uh, which reported by the Roma et al 2014 on TB occurrence in animal across study evaluation also in southern Ethiopia and okay in case of an uh, um, uh, both is uh, mycobacterium both is or tuberculosis in both in, has been detected in milky and yogurt tea. And hence, these products are regarded as infection. Yes, this and uh, are regarded as the source of infection in this and uh, in areas of milky. And also the people in this study uh, were mostly used in uh, raw, raw, raw milky, raw milky. They mostly use for the consuming uh, raw milky. And okay, and this increased the chance of this increased the chance of uh, getting infection from, from, from animals through through the milky. 
and taking into account the, the bare practice of the milk usage and high prevalence in different system and the potential risk of the acquired milk from pathogenes. Yes, this also uh, can carry from get from a uh, 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 milky and uh, uh, milk bovine, especially bovine in human. And this is reported by the in the study carried by Mukdisho reported that and uh, there is an increase in infectionist and uh, reported by the Mossad, yes, Mossadis, and prefer to report 5% among farmers. And also another problem is that these farmers supply milk to the to the city, ongoing supply of the milk to the city. The existing farmers will seemingly maintain supply milk as well as milk bone diseases, including this bacterium bovis, and and the and the people has a little information for and to the consumers, and there is a no control strategies in cattle and has suggested that the zero control measures fitting in local situation are swiftly need, need needed as, as a steady care recently by and uh, 2022. In conclusion, the majority of the household list in the chief city in Mogadishu, Somalia has uh, have had a uh, high information or knowledge in human tuberculosis as compared to the often tuberculosis, as you see here. However, they had a little information about the cause of the TB as a significant number of participants do not know or perceive that the cold toxin or weather as the cause of the disease. Great. Moreover, large number of the farmers and uh, large number of households were unaware about the cause of the disease, transmission routes, uh, prevention measures, and, and so on. Therefore, the human TB awareness promotion and human awareness promotion strategy, human TB, should be operated and along with often tuberculosis under one healthy umbrella. You know, this disease is a zoonotic disease as needed in, a, in, a, in a high areas, in areas to, to consider it in order to create an awareness, promotion awareness strategy, not only for human TB, but also in both tuberculosis. They said it recommended that uh, it would be better to establish appropriate control measures such as establishing proper information. The study found that the most important thing needed to, to carry is to uh, prepare or, or promote uh, the information, information sharing between the communities in order to educate, to educate and, and communicate it through uh, uh, social outlets or radios and so on. Uh, also creating a uh, proper awareness about the discourse, yes. Also, people uh, should be included in the education and the cause of the disease transmission, prevention, and availability of the public services uh, should be also in place. For human TB awareness creation, a strategy should be operated along with uh, bovine, bovine tuberculosis and the one healthy concept. And it's also very important in order to create an awareness creation strategy uh, with, along with uh, bovine TB in order to promote the concept of one health concept, one health concept. Uh, and this is these are references of the study. Uh, thank you for anyone who provided advice or assistance for this research paper. Special thanks for my panel, uh, professors. Uh, thank you again. Thank you again. And uh, this is my last uh, slide of the presentation. I'm grateful to acknowledge to to to, to my panelists who have given me all the have uh, all freedom and to present the, uh, this uh, this paper. And uh, now you. You, you can ask me uh, if there's is there, is there, uh, any question. Thank you again. Okay, Mr. Mohammed, thank you very much for your presentation. I have a question. What was your reason for choosing this specific, this specific topic? Okay, thank you, teacher. Uh, the, the choosing of this specific topic uh, because of, uh, you know, and in the, and in in my um, bachelor in my bachelor uh, degree, and uh, I was performing a, a thesis or paper related to the uh, one health concept of uh, facial diseases. And as you as you as you see in this paper, and, and it was a uh, of female status or and the infection is that occurs in in in, in milky or milky bone diseases. And therefore, I know or I found uh, that. There is an increase 
number of in, in, there is a, num, a high number of virulence in, in 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 a milk infection milk infection is and therefore and, and I, I I I I I conduct it to uh, to, to increase the knowledge in 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 areas of infectious diseases or or on health consumption. It's one mm -hmm. point. Another point is that, is that this is a great problem in mm -hmm. in in Mogadishu. In Mogadishu, the hospital is there is a lot of patients in, in this in this disease of TB, and and that that people or that patient is when they get a treatment after six months, they mm -hmm. can get a, a second time of of of, of TB or or the infection of TB. Mm -hmm. and, and this is a problem and that's faced by the communities. Therefore, and in order to extend the my knowledge in why these people are getting in, in, in a TB after getting a treatment T uh, after six months. And I found this is a, this is a most problem is that the knowledge of the people and community is a low to contribute and creation of awareness and, and strategy and profession and, and of this and of this of this very worthy disease. And also, as you see, uh, another most problem of uh, leading this was to 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 was to know or or to highlight, and there is a lot of uh, uh, there is a lot of economic losses. There's, there is a lot of economic losses in TB. As you know, in TB, in case of uh, of and uh, there is a lot of treatment. There is an impossible in order in to treat. Uh, livestock uh, and according to the according to the income of that community uh, and there is a, a need for 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 profession in order to carry in profession and, 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 and in the case of 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 treating them in treating them therefore and uh, that overall of these uh, in areas was uh, and caused this as a most most interesting topic to to perform and and and, and, and present today then today and that's uh, that's my interest of this of this topic. Thank you again. Okay, so that means that if someone gets to read your research, it's going to help them in one way or another, right? I can't hear. I can't hear. I've asked you from according to the research that you've done. What were yes. the challenges you had to face? Well, well, and in, uh, during this research. Yes. Okay, thank you again. And the mm -hmm. most common challenges and uh, when uh, performing uh, this uh, research um, mm -hmm. uh, was 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 time was time and uh, not only uh, uh, we, uh, I I only carried three hundred respondents and uh, and only uh, one uh, one uh, literate in the show. Mm -hmm. I need uh, or I interested to carry it in, in a broad number of of of, my, of, of population of community to know. Uh, exact knowledge and actually practice of, of of the community. Therefore, uh, one of the limitation of this disease of this uh, uh, beba was, was uh, the time the time time of, of time is not an, an available was not available, mm -hmm. and that's uh, one of the problem. Mm -hmm. uh, another limitation is that the most of the respondents or households they didn't know uh, in the English language, and it takes a long time. To, to translate it uh, and uh, what does mean this uh, sentence in order to get a valuable information of the liable information uh, and, and of that household this child household this and that's that's another another uh, limitation uh, was language barrier language barrier language barrier it's also it's needed to 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 contribute to spread a large number of 171 uh, uh, questionnaires with that people they also uh, uh, there is a resources resources in in, in printing that uh, much questionnaires much questionnaires mm -hmm. and that uh, most also some uh, another problem is that the people are not willing to to, to fill this questionnaire and this questionnaire and because maybe and and, and they are they are thinking it's a it's a, a useless it's a not valuable and, and for them for them. And that's another problem, and it takes to 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 explain them, explain them. This is important, and this is uh, related to the to your health, community health, and 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 level and and, and will increase your level of of, of knowledge of, of, of the and, and community and us uh, and you. And that's areas of the uh, most of the problems uh, we're facing during uh, this study. Thank you. 
Okay, thank you very much for your presentation. Uh, there's something that I want to make because of time, we have up to 3.30. So each person is going to be given a maximum of 10 minutes to present. Okay, thank you. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank teacher. you so much, Mr. Mohammed. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay, we go to Mr. Omar Mohammed. You're the next person to make your presentation. Okay, okay. I'll start. Uh, let me share my presentation. Um, Mr. Omar Muhammad. Mr. Omar Muhammad, your, your topic is prevalence and risk factors of camel mastitis in Kismayo district, Lower Juba region, Somalia, right? Hello, Mr. Muhammad. Omar? Yeah, hello. Omar Muhammad. Uh, yes. There's two, two Omar. Okay. Omar Mohammed and Omar Mahmoud. My, my topic is uh, mastitis Pre in goats in Banajaru. Okay, prevalence are risk factors of sublingual yeah. yeah. goat mastitis. Okay, you can proceed, please. Please, okay. after your presentation, you are not allowed to leave till the presentation ends. I noticed that the student who just defended left. You are supposed to stay till the defense is over. Else, back to be deducted from you. Okay, can you can you see my uh, my presentation? Yes, we can. Yes, go ahead. Okay, thank you, uh, everybody. Thanks uh, to the panelists and uh, the students, fellow students. My name is uh, Omar Mahmoud Shara, uh, and the topic is prevalence and risk factor of subclinical mastitis uh, in goats in the Niger region uh, of Somalia. Uh, first, I would like to introduce what. My Mastitis is, mastitis is a general term which refers to inflammation of the mammary gland or inflammation of the anus of the uh, animals. So mastitis is a major disease which uh, affects uh, almost all animals and goats are one of them. Uh, it affects goats also. Uh, the problem uh, starts uh, when microorganisms invade and colonize uh, the tissues of the mammary gland then the inflammation will, uh, will set up. Uh, this is a problem because it, uh, it causes a reduction uh, of milk, milk production. Also, it also causes uh, epidemiological hazards and uh, serious uh, veterinary uh, sanitary. Uh, the, one of the problems of this disease, mastitis, is economic loss due to reduced milk production, early culling of animals, and also treatment costs. So uh, my problem of uh, statement, problem of the statement is that Somalia is one of the uh, countries which have most animals. We have uh, 52 million, according to Somali Livestock Strategy 2019, 52 uh, million animals, almost 30 million are goats. And despite all these uh, huge numbers, uh, there is shortage, for shortages of milk availability, uh, and the problem is without shortage of uh, milk availability, despite the large number of livestock, is uh, there are many, but uh, one prime cause is believed to be mastitis. Mastitis, because if the other is uh, is in a problem, then there will be uh, milk reduction. So uh, my study was intended to bridge the knowledge gap and find out the prevalence and risk factor of mastitis. Uh, objectives are. Uh, to determine the prevalence, the overall prevalence uh, or the distribution of the mastitis, uh, what are the, how many animals uh, are suffering uh, from this uh, disease. Also to identify what are the risk factors, the risk factors or the factors that contribute uh, to the infection uh, of mastitis. So uh, methodology, uh, my study was a cross-sectional study. Uh, and uh, it, it was carried out from 20th uh, January to August uh, this year. Uh, study animals were the lactating goats, goats which are lactating or which are producing milk. Uh, 
uh, in Brazil region, and most of the animals that I took samples from were uh, local breeds. Third area was, was Brazil uh, region. Brazil region is where uh, Mogadishu or the capital city is located. Uh, this region or this uh, Mogadishu contains of 18 districts, so I took samples from animals uh, in seven districts. I take sample of seven districts from all from the total number of 18. Uh, my sample size calculation was uh, uh, I calculated the sample through a formula called uh, Martin et al. Uh, and a total sample of 207 lactating uh, dairy animals was calculated. Then I took samples from these 207 uh, animals. Uh, the sample type was milk. Then that milk was uh, uh, examined using California mastitis test. California mastitis test is a test or a chemical used to investigate whether there is a disease in the milk or not. Then uh, the data which was collected from this procedure then was uh, analyzed through SPSS. These are my results. First result is the total prevalence of the animal uh, of the infection. Uh, of the animal, the total number of animals examined were 207. Uh, 140 of them were positive for mastitis. That will be 67%, 67.6% of the animals. Uh, prevalence also, uh, that was the total prevalence. Then I looked uh, on uh, the effect of age on the infection. Which animals are mostly affected? Older animals or young animals? My findings were that, according to the age, older animals were uh, mostly affected. Animals which are seven years or older were uh, infected uh, the most. Uh, this uh, was not uh, statistically significant. There was a difference, but that difference was not very much because uh, there is the B value is 0 0.2, which is more than 0 0.05, which was the cut point. Uh, another risk factor I looked was the hygiene of, of, of the animals. Uh, does the hygiene of the animal affect whether the animal to be positive or negative? Also, the result is that uh, there was uh, more infection in the animals which are categorized to be poor. So I, as you see in this table, I divided animals into three categories, poor hygiene, fair hygiene, and good hygiene. So the poor hygiene were affected most, 73%. Uh, also this uh, difference or this uh, higher prevalence was not statistically significant because uh, the B value is less than 0, 0. It's more than 0 0.05. The other risk factor is the uh, lactation stage and the uh, infection. Is there a, uh, an association between uh, the lactation stage of the animal and the infection stage? So, as you see in this, there was a statistically significant difference because uh, animals with late lactation were the most affected, 73%, where animals with early lactation were only 44% positive. And the p value here is 0 0.05, which is less than 0 0.05. Uh, and uh, so there is a strong association between lactation stage and the infection. Uh, the next risk factor was the body condition of the animals. Uh, is there a difference in the infection status between different categories? I also divide it into three categories, poor body condition, normal body condition, and fair body condition. When we say body condition, this means is the animal fat or thin or something like that. So. Uh, my findings was that animals with poor body condition had mostly uh, most infection, 79%, uh, where the normal body were 67%. Only. And this also was a significant difference because uh, there was a p value of 0 0.05, uh, which was a cut off point. Uh, the next uh, risk factor was parity. Parity number means how many times uh, does this animal give birth? Uh, so I divided into three animals which give birth one to three times, animals which give birth four to five, and animals which give birth more than six times. 
uh, in this case, animals uh, which uh, which are uh, uh, which have higher barriers were mostly affected, 73% and 68%. But this uh, was not uh, very much different because the B value is close to what, which is uh, which signifies there is, there is no difference. Uh, we cannot say a variety affect this infection based on this result. Uh, discussion, Mr. Fa, uh, I compared my findings of the prevalence of the proportion of animals affected, which was 57%, with other studies carried out in the world. Uh, for example, in Kenya, uh, another study in Kenya in 2014, they found out that 61% of goats were affected with mastitis. That's uh, close to the number of findings in this study, also in Palestine and Tanzania. Uh, but uh, the study were higher in the prevalence. My prevalence or my findings of 67% was higher than other studies carried out. Kenya 2002, which was 28%, Ethiopia in 2012, 18%. So you can ask was, wh why is there a variation in prevalence between my findings and those studies? This could be the management uh, risk factor and uh, there can be different management systems of the animals in, in the study area of Mogadishu and uh, those uh, other places. Uh, also, the age, I've, uh, the study found out that animals with seven years old uh, or older were having uh, much infection. This study was compared to other studies, uh, like uh, McDougall et al. in 2000. Uh, that study found out that uh, there was also association between age, old age, and uh, the infection. The infection. Uh, the other factor was uh, lactation stage. So my study found out that there was strong association between the lactation stage and the prevalence of mastitis. Uh, also, another finding which was uh, carried out by uh, Mevulu in 2007. Uh, also found out that uh, lactation stage and infection uh, were related. Also, body condition score, uh, poor body condition was associated with higher prevalence. Uh, this uh, could be associated with reduced uh, defense status because poor body condition animals, they, they doesn't have, uh, or uh, animals with, which are thin, they don't have uh, immune defense uh, or strong immune defense. Also, this was also found in cattle, uh, uh, poor body condition cattle to, to be more uh, with mastitis by this study in 2004. Also, uh, no association was found between uh, increased variety and the occurrence of mastitis. Also, similar results uh, were found out by Ibrahiwat in 2012 in Ethiopia. Uh, there, there are other studies which uh, found out association between variety and infection, and the the reason we claim it is that there is a decreased immunity and there's a long exposure to the pathogens. Uh, the conclusion of this study, overall, this study revealed that there's a wide prevalent uh, prevalent of mastitis in, in goats in lactating goats because 57 percent is a huge huge proportion. Uh, there was also several risk factors which were found out, uh, such as age, variety, other injury, hygiene, body condition score. Uh, specifically, the two risk factors which were found to be significantly associated with mastitis infection were lactation stage and animal uh, body condition. So uh, this study highlights that mastitis is really an important uh, challenge facing good production in the region. Uh, so these are the recommendations which is forwarded based on the findings of this study. Number one, farmers should be trained to control mastitis. They should be informed that mastitis is a real threat to their production, so they should be trained also to control mastitis and also to practice good mil milking hygiene because milking hygiene is associated with uh, mastitis because uh, when the person milking the animal is not uh, properly uh, washing his hands, he will infect or he can distribute infection between animals. 
The second recommendation is poor body condition animals should be improved. Because if the animal is in, body con in poor body condition, uh, it's more likely it will be infected. So they can improve these animals through supplementary feeding. They will provide uh, additional feed to them. Third recommendation is farmers should be advised to be more observant when goats are in, lact in late lactation stage. Late lactation stage was statistically significantly associated with uh, mastitis. So farmers should be aware of this and they should care these animals with great attention. Number four is the goat farmers should be encouraged to obtain CMT test kit. CMT test kit is a test kit which is uh, used to screen animals for mastitis. Uh, so also, they should be encouraged to carry out routine screening tests. Uh, you should not test your animals only when there is a problem. You should uh, test mastitis uh, for every month, like two times. Because this mastitis doesn't have any clinical signs you can uh, identify. Uh, you will only find out that you are experiencing low production in terms of milk. The fifth and last recommendation is further investigation should be carried out, uh, uh, which is regarding uh, pathogens involved in mastitis. What I uh, found out uh, in my study was only the prevalence and the risk factors. But, uh, for example, there was 67% of animals infected with mastitis but we don't know what are the causes, what are the pathogens that cause these uh, diseases. So uh, further studies are needed to investigate what are the causes. Are they bacterial causes or viral or protozoal? Uh, even there are several uh, bacteria uh, species which are known to cause uh, mastitis. So there should be also uh, that. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, panelists and the fellow students. That's the end. If there's any questions, I would like to uh, welcome you. Hello? Okay, thank you for your presentation, Mr. Omar. Um, okay, I just have a few questions to ask. Uh, the first question I would like to ask is, why did you choose this topic? Why did you go for this topic? Yeah, particularly I go I go for this uh, topic because I see a lot of uh, powder milk which are imported every day. Uh, so I ask if uh, Somalia has the largest number, one of the largest numbers of animals, we should be exporting uh, milk not importing. Uh, then when I looked into it, uh, it turned out that the problem is that we are not producing enough milk uh, to cover uh, the, the local. Uh, and one of the reasons why was uh, my price was limited to the housing. So I needed to verify uh, this uh, uh, hypothesis. That's why I chose uh, this topic. Thank you. Okay, thank you. The next thing you mentioned in your wonderful presentation, because your topic is quite interesting and helpful. Okay. Yeah, the next thing you mentioned is about training. What do you think are the best methods the information of your work can go around to your society? Yeah, thank you. Uh, first is... Uh, my study will benefit uh, the government uh, and especially the Ministry of Livestock and um, Excuse NGOs me, excuse me. You, like, you did not get my okay. question correctly. What I'm asking is this. How do you think this information of your research can easily go around to your society? What okay. medium? Is it through society, social media? Our... Is it through okay. churches? Is it through mocks? Is it, What medium do you think you can go around faster? That means... What medium do you think that this train, this uh, uh, research that you've done, if you want to, tr if you want to let your world, your 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 uh, the citizens of your nation know about it, what is the fastest way you think can help them know about your work, and and that you okay. help them I, to I produce get, more? I get, I get, 
I get your okay. point, but uh, communities are different in every place. Our society, mm -hmm. our livestock keepers, they don't have social media. They don't go to many places. So the best method is personal visit and uh, also to, to do a focus group discussion in rural areas. That's the best method that uh, this study could uh, reach them. In terms of policymakers, maybe uh, if we publish this or uh, through uh, journals or through maybe media, they can they can uh, get uh, the policymakers. But in terms of the community, there should be they should be targeted in their places. I think you get uh, my point. Okay, thank you. Um, I would like to know how did you get. Uh, them to fill your questionnaires? What were the challenges you had during uh, putting together your, your your facts? Okay, thank you. Uh, I was not collecting uh, questionnaires. I was taking samples from their animals. Uh, okay. I was going to, to their uh, houses and then uh, I was taking milk samples from them. The most important, uh, the biggest challenge was that uh, a lot of uh, households were not allowing their animals to be sampled. They were fearful that there will be some disease uh, and then maybe their milk will not be, uh, 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 they could not sell their, their, their milk. So that was uh, a challenge. I used some treatments and some drugs to distribute, uh, I distributed some drugs so that they will allow their animals to sample it. Okay, my last question is this. Give me some hygienic conditions you think they should follow because you spoke about hygiene conditions. Give me some conditions, hygiene conditions you think they can follow to have healthy milk and to also have a healthy body animal as you mentioned in your work. Thank you very much. One is that they should clean their pens also, they should clean their animals. Uh, also, when they are milking the animals, they should wash their hands. Also, they should clean the animal with disinfectants and detergents. Then they should dry the milk. Uh, sorry, uh, they should dry the animal. Uh, and also, there is uh, something called redeeming. Redeeming. Redeeming is that uh, you should use antiseptics like iodine and dip uh, the animal or the teeth. The teeth. Uh, of the animal for uh, milking. That's the hygienic uh, conditions I would suggest. Okay, those places you went to 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 take samples. Did you guide them in in this? You're sharing with me now. Yeah, 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 yeah. That that was one of the things that helped me uh, to cooperate. Uh, for them to cooperate. When I advise them, when I tell them what is wrong, uh, the the wrong things they are doing. Uh, problems that could arise from their practice and what are the mitigations or the proper hygienic practices that I was recommending, they were cooperative. So, yeah, yeah, that's that's nice to, to mention. I, I just, uh, yeah, I informed them and encouraged them, yes. Okay. Thank you so much for your wonderful presentation. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, sorry. Um, Thank you very much, Mr. Omar Muhammad. I think my colleague has asked you all the questions. Uh, we should go to the next candidate. We should go to the next student, please. Mr. Omar Muhammad Omar, you're next. Your topic is about prevalence and risk factors of camel mastitis in Kismayo district, Lower Juba region in Somalia. Turn on your mic, please, turn on your mic. Uh, Mr. Omar, the person who just presented, you can off your mic now, please. Are you ready or we should go to the next person, please? Mr. Omar, are you are you prepared?
I don't think he is. If the next person is prepared, okay, he's like trying to put his work up. Okay, let's wait. Okay. Let's wait a minute. Omar, Muhammad, Omar. Yes, please, you can proceed. Okay, uh, good evening. Um, We can hear you, you can go ahead. I'm sorry. I I want to share from my slide. So wait with me. Okay. Uh, uh, my name is uh, Dr. Omar Mohamed Omar. Uh, my subject is uh, the reference and I can see the structure of common mistake in my region. Um, Please be audible, be audible. Okay. Uh, Okay, so I want to, to present my PC. Okay, uh, first I want to uh, start my content introduction, problem, of statement, uh, problem of statement. Objectives of the research, methodology, statistical analysis, research findings, discussion, and conclusion. So, so, uh, 
let us start uh, introduction. Uh, Camelids belong to Camelidae family of uh, mammals among the order of uh, Archaeodactyla and to the order of uh, Tailoboda. They are different than the Ruminantia. It's a ruminant animal, it is not a ruminant. They are two domesticated species. Uh, the one hand camel, uh, that are called the dromedary camel, and the two hand camel, bacteria, bacteria and camel. So, okay. The total population of camel in the world is about 17. Uh, 17, 24, 7 million of the uh, out of those 17 children has been 2.54, which is about the 17, 14.7 percent of animals. So, male and children consist about 60 percent of camels, 60 percent of camels, and the camel family is characterized animal by the, the most important country for the camel economy for the camel regulation of one million are in the order Somali, Sudan, Eritrea, Niger, Tanzania, Jazz, Kenya, Mali, and Pakistan. They are to be localized by the direct camel broad. They are three Kenya, which are named after the pastoral community, Somali, Rend Line, and the Pakistan breed. It was introduced into Kenya in the last three decades by the state and the club again. The camel is more burbus, multi burbus animal that has outstanding performance in the arid and semi arid environment where brood and water are limited. And it makes an important contribution to so, human survival and utilization of the dry and arid land. It is important multi burbus animal and since the old time, it has been used for. It has been used. It has been used for different, uh, different uh, Okay, sorry. Uh, uh, Camel milk is one of the main components of death in the normal in the air and air journey and it's an essential food for livelihood of the people. It may be the only meat available as in food. This milk is an important source of burrity as mentioned by Yaqub 2003 for nomadic trade and the ignored rural citizens. Also, it's a good source of community in this area where the traditional source of community are as issued by the uh, this, uh, reading. The camel is considered the most important dry animal in Somali arid and semi arid land. And according to Mul, according to Mul at all season, it's camel milk production in Somalia in 2007 was estimated to have food to over 640 million. The site has both an extreme zoonosis and no importance, and it is the cause of multiple hazardous effects on human health and animal population. And animal production. Little work has been done on the site in camel comparing to study on sheep and, and, and cows. Many different bacteria have been isolated from the mammary glands in camels either in the form of new or mixed infection up to as mentioned by the Abdel Qadir at all and Rahman people then see and Hazard at all people then four. Problem statements. My problem statements are adapted to the adults, but their full milking potential is affected by other infections, especially clinical and clinical sites, and yet little work has been done on mosquitoes and families compared to studies on cows, goats, and sheep. General objectives. My object, my objective 
general objectives and specific objectives. General objectives that aim to estimate the prevalence of metals and the associated risk factor of thermal metals in Chitmai district. Specific objectives is to determine the prevalence of metals in lactate to thermal on basis of the questionnaire that the ambassador isolate. So, to determine the potential risk factor associated with the prevalence of metals in lactate to in the study area. Methodology. Questionnaire surveys, the general questionnaire that supports it. For common sites was carried out in Tismayo district at the last market. Its main camel market in Tismayo, Kamjiron camel market, away from 100 kilometers south of Tismayo, last market also are carried out. Yes, the, 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 the question includes the birth of sites, cause of the site, treatment of common sites, the use of antibiotics, practice of Authorization as a mean of the police under problem, sick infestation problem, general disease infected, common local and species name and relation of treatment. Cross-section study design was conducted to assess the prevalence of the site and associated risk factors and to isolate and exercise the major bacteria basically found in milk of the static summer. During the month of May and June 2002, the isolates were selected progressively from two alleles that killed the hand. For the sample units were lactate camel in head for estimate of disease prevalence as the standard error of estimation prevalence 1.3% of the prevalence 20% and the precise level 95%. That's a colloquial. The information questionnaire based was collected in the village. In the village. In the village. And supplement B for animal were sent for bruising or a watering point. Single fishing form survey method were applied to collect the data. Various techniques and tools such as creation, with of sheep, and the measurement were needed to collect information from animal owners, household. And camel, the questionnaire has mainly focused on their knowledge. Knowledge, uh, the questionnaire has mainly focused on their knowledge of camel sites, treatment, attempt to respond, attempt of the surface disease, and the general information on the production channel. Sample determination for the Number of milk samples. The sample units were household feeding samples in the study area. The sample size square for the study was determined by the formula recommended by the Arsham 2007 for survey study is as illustrated below. Clinical estimation of other and the coliform and the coliform site test. All other were subject to clinical examination. Uh, for the presence of swelling, lesion, or anatomical malformation, there are so some suitable injury, sick infestation, trophy of the tissue, and the swelling of the subramanary lens. All collected milk samples were examined for the site use of the site test, was carried out using the method of the drug in Kuwait at L1994. Collection of milk samples. Barrier to the presence of family cases. The camel oldest content was obtained after the explaining the burgers of the study. Milk sample were then saved aseptically collected from the eight individual quarters from 484 lactation camel. Uh, there are five villages that have been selected, as we see here. During either morning, midday, or evening milk time, depending on what was logistically content. About 20 ml of milk was collected from age quarter directly in clean and sterile sample bottles that were clearly labeled and transport to the laboratory. Data management and statistical analysis. All data collected were included in the Microsoft Excel 2007. Worksheet as a database and exported to the blast for the specific analog. Affect of the variable. Breed and build a age, variety of species, state, size, season, and other seed injuries. On reference, the site were investigated 
using types of all the ratio was calculated to assess the risk levels of category under under age six factors as the ratio of all these disease items. Research funding. Research funding. Questionnaire survey. The investigation was carried out to give information about the reference of the site and associated risk factors and other problems associated with the disease in progress state. About two, 218 families owners were interviewed in the Abdelabirol, will give it from Giron, respectively. The data from Giron questionnaire survey are summarized in the table for the A. The result shows that 26.6% and the concise percent of summer owners do not have facility and exchange service in the three divisions. Compared to 35.7, 25.6, and 38.5 percent confirmed the major concern of common rearing are food shortages, whereas the 41 percent, 18 percent, and 39 percent said that the problem was received and the confirmed presence of unsuccessful devices without milking is the main cause of the site, but only 28.4. Now, 89.9 and 81.6 due to six where flies are high in the pool of blue due to the colors of the river, respectively. That was the 20% of the cause of the mustache was the injury of infestation or tick infestation and the fly. However, 36. Percent 39.9 percent and 23.8 percent cite that the acaricide uses for tick control were responsible for the problem, while zero percent use manual removal for tick control. Of the owner, do not wash their hands. 92.6 percent of owners do not have washed their hands during the meeting, as the Abdullah Bureau, whereas. Wash the hand. The high incidence of clinical mosaic was found in the site. She common infected by in two or three cases, 72% as year four shows, but they did not show any significant effect on the occurrence of the site at B uh, value of zero point, uh, less than zero point two. Zero five. Clear sign of other chronic sites were high growth and the mammary gland and pituitary segregation, uh, water segregation, but as shown in the figure nine. Tick infestation is the most cause of the, as we see the figure, most cause injury for the camel mastitis as the uh, make injury for the other during the transmission of the disease. Discussion. Now, discussion in this study were. The general questionnaire survey showed that out of 218 Tamil owners interviewed in the North uh, State, 99% of owners confirmed the presence of mosaic, and the 97 of them did not believe the other before making this finding agree with it, obtained by Abdul Qadir 2001, who reported that. 90% of tested head showed the reference to the and 100% did not kill the other before making. This study revealed that the 20.6, and 25% of the studied head did not receive any pecuniary and research. The result of our Result of all studies revealed that the prevalence of clean results was 92%, and this was in the agreement to set MOLA in the one, but those findings were lower than the rest the truth of the book by the COVID, Selva, and the NAC at all. The high rate of common mastitis in this study could be due to the use of uncertain device, which was the major predisposing factor for the other infections, so that our questions are very revealed that two elements. 40.28 and 42.2 commonly use such device or maybe due to the heat infestation of other 
this chip that we are recorded in our sample question level which is 110. Also to be due to the unhygienic management during the mission so that our general question is very recorded 92% and 2% of common milkers who did not sleep under before milking and did not wash their hands before milking. This finding was uh, confirmed by Abdel Qadir, who found that 110 is not human. Conclusion The fact that the pathogen is isolated uh, from the common milk sample in this study where the theory that shows both environmental and contagious studies indicated that the broader management and lactate of lactate camel and the adequate hygienic conditions of the environment are required in order to minimize occurrence of mistakes in the study area. Also, camel production needs to be trained or subjected to build on the, on the importance of hygienic milking for a piece in order to minimize the potential after effects of mistakes. Recommendation. There is need to create awareness on a camel massage among camel females at the moment. There is low level of awareness among the services. More particularly, education staff should be trained on the camel massage to diagnose and the control as it affects camel productivity in the act. Hygiene milk in the future should be followed when milking samples. Milk in order where you Milk non mastitis, common spirits, and the common or quarters with the mastitis infection last should be adhered. Thank you for attention. Any questions? Thank you for your presentation. As you know, we are not the first person to write on this topic. Is that correct? So wait. Please on, turn on your mic so we can discuss. Turn on your mic, please. Your mic is off. Mr. Omar, turn on your mic. I can't hear you. Your mic is off. Turn it on so you can hear me, so we can discuss. Can you hear me, Mr. Omar? Hello, Mr. Omar. What is your uh, Can you repeat what is your question? Okay, I said your mic should be on so we can talk. I'm asking, I'm sure you're certain that you're not the first person to write on this topic. Leave your mic on, please, so we can discuss. Okay. Mr. Omar, okay, yes, your mic, should, your mic should be on throughout until you're Problem. done. So, I am, I am hearing. Okay, I'm sure you know you are not the first person to write on this topic. Are you with me? I want you to tell me what important factors you thought the others who had written on yeah. this topic left out? What are the important information you felt so, like the other people left out and you have included in your thesis? For the, uh, your question is uh, for my topic, yeah? My question is this. You are not the first person to write on this topic. Others yeah. have written on this topic. Hello? So I want you to tell me what important information or important part that you saw that 
the others did not touch what you've gone, you've worked on and you've included on this basis. Because people might must have read something like this before. But what what difference, what's unique about your own research topic? What can make it interesting for me to read rather than taking another person's work? I tried. Uh, this topic is for the institutions of my because in in, 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 my, in my in my area there is a lot of population for the Tamil as in Somali uh, compared to the other regions. So uh, so make uh, this makes me interest to select for the you Tamil. you've not understood my question. You've not understood my question. Tamil. Sorry. What I'm asking is before writing this work you've seen other topic other people write on this work to write so people have written on something like this before you are not the first to write on this is that true hello uh, please don't, believe, don't turn uh, off your mic again don't turn off your mic there is a microphone problem Yes, don't turn off your mic. I'm asking, you are not the first person to write on this work. People have written on this work before you. Is that correct? So what I'm asking you is what is made, uh, no. what? Yes, what because, is, uh, what, uh, what did you read uh, in those other works you, that you, you think they missed out that you've included in your work? They are different, uh, in writing for the topic, I think the uh, my topic I submitted before it was the common society, um, the reference of common society, and associated risk factor uh, and risk factor. So uh, I make uh, my topic uh, the reference of uh, the reference and associated with risk factor of camel site in the study region. So I think the two big, uh, the, I think it's the same, yeah? Hello? Hello? Yes, yes, yes. Did you understand my question? Hello? So I can hear you. Did you understand what I asked? I think uh, it is my topic, yeah? No, what I'm asking, what? have you ever seen anybody write on this year topic before? Have you seen, have you come across any, any work by anybody that is related to this year topic? You are asking for the statement of problem, yeah? I think. Have you ever come across any work that is related to any other person's research article, research uh, work that is related to your, to your topic? Um, Madam Pauline, I think you should take over. My uh, topic. Wow, uh, Mr. Omar. The, for the topic, the prevalence of the the prevalence and the camel uh, the prevalence and associated risk factor of camel sites, or you are asking for the for uh, what? Sorry. She was okay, asking. Okay. Let me let me repeat uh, her question. Problem, yeah? Mr. So Omar, not here for. Uh, soon, soon, soon. 
Fulhirin. Oke, okay, Miss Tamar. Ayo deh. Hello. Yes, yes. Halo. Mr. Omar. I want you to I want you to please tell me when you are doing this research according to what Madam Joy was asking you. What were the things that you felt like from the other research topics you've read from people? What do you, what do you think they had left out so that you can come and do the same research they did? Um, yes, uh, when I am doing this research, uh, maybe there is, uh, I, I don't remember what I have left here. But the most thing is for the doing this, I am do I did for the uh, the most important I focus for the questionnaire of the uh, of the people, the camel owners, followed by the sample taking, also looking for the uh, also data collection uh, for the uh, uh, the code. The, the reference, uh, the code, the treatment, also they are different. Uh, uh, they are the different for the uh, methodology that I have been using. So I I don't remember the uh, during my research uh, for this uh, uh, work that I left. I don't think so. Wow, okay. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Omar. Uh, we shall go to the next student. Uh, Mr. Idris. Mr. Idris, are you... Mr. Idris, your mic is off. Turn on your mic. Your mic is off. We can't hear you. Mr. Idris. Okay, Mr. Idris, your topic, you, the topic. Mr. Mohammed, please kindly tell your students to prepare themselves because we cannot hear them. And also in case of any, if they cannot hear us, we will get someone to help them interpret what we say. Okay, okay, thank you. Mr. Idris, are you prepared? Mr. 
Eh, tadi sini agak borok. Ya, ya mic itu, ya mic itu. Oke. Okay, so Mr. Idris, your topic, the topic you've chosen is the impact of water scarcity uh, for crop production in the lower and middle Shabelle region in Somalia. You can continue with your presentation. Please, Idris, make your mic on, please. We can't hear. Idris, we can't hear. Please, make your mic on, please. It is it is left. Maybe some someone else can take over. Okay, no problem. Uh, I think we should uh, we should have our next candidate. Our next our next student to Mr. Abdi Fatah. Are you prepared? Hello. Okay, can you hear me? Okay, now? continue. Continue, Mr. Idris. Okay, okay. Excuse me. And um, thank you, Professor. It's very delighted to be here and having you hearing you. I'm going to discuss today my thesis presentation, which refers to the topic for assessment of water scarcity for crop production in Somalia, especially in middle and lower regions in Somalia. So uh, my topic is uh, water scarcity. Water is the most essential element to life on earth. And so that sometimes it's a scarce resource and yet fundamental for living. It's also essential for both agriculture in many regions in the world and means to achieve a sustainability and production system. Water is essential for socioeconomic development and uh, for maintaining healthy ecosystems globally around 70 percentage for all fresh water with drawers are used to food production. So that uh, water scarcity is a lack of sufficient available water resource to meet demands for water usage within regions. Uh, water scarcity is a para paragility, unequal distribution in space and time. Mismanagement are the main serious problems in the most of arid, semi-arid countries, including Somalia. Since the last decades, since the last decades, and, and since the last decades, and the competition among water sectors is going to increase also with ongoing climate changes and very, very liberty and land migration and, and distribution process. And objectives for uh, my research, uh, I'm going to overall uh, objective is of the study to analyze and identify crop water requirements for some common and important crops in lower and middle Shabelle regions. So that maize and banana uh, is my uh, and, 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 and 
this is uh, objective so that study area present study conducted in lower Shabele and middle region is in southern Somalia. The study, the study uh, conducted is a lower Shabele and middle Shabele region is in southern Somalia. Okay. The method is the method is that I use it in the study were collected and extracted, extracted the Kalim water, a new Kalim water software developed by Pau for crop water data in order to calculate the crop water requirement for each crop. The other data used in the study was deserved from literature, from literature and study done in lower and middle shovel regions in generally southern Somalia in different organizations, mainly Mo Data Center and Fo Swalim. Okay. For the, uh, accord, according to Kambaza 2015, divine crop water requirement for total water allocated for fulfill and for data. So a uh, research design and flow chart. Kalim water software. Kalim water software. Temperature, humidity, windy speed, sunshine, solar radiation, and rainfall. New clean Kalim software. Data collective. Data processing. Uh, data input crop water. By the way. Comparison uh, between available water resource with crop water requirement in lower and middle shovel regions. In order to know crop for water requirements with the available water resource in the study area, crop water requirement were calculated and the river discharge or runoff was collected for FAO in Somalia water resource available water resource in uh, availability is very poor my final my finding my finding my finding research active uh, indicate of available water resource of shovel river which passes through middle and lower shovel region is not sufficient to the crop water requirement grown in both lower and middle shovel region as the crop water requirement exceed the available water resource. The main object, uh, objective of the study were analyzed and, uh, and, and identified crop water requirement. For the common important crop is using crop water 8.0 model. This is the software. To compare crop water requirement with the available water resource. Water resource. Now, uh, come to conclusion, my, uh, my, the main objectives of the study were the analyze to, uh, and identify crop water requirement for the common important crop is using crop water 8.0 model to compare crop water requirement with the available water resource to recommend the best way to use the manage of available water resource in lower and middle shovel regions in southern Somalia. The study found that crop water requirement for of banana, rice, and maize 15, 27.8 and 10.86.4 uh, millimeters for crop water requirement, respectively. However, this study suggests different recommendations, including building dams, building dams and irrigation efficiency by using sprinklers or drips instead of flood, flood irrigation and the collaboration and the coordination with with the barrier status the researchers recommendation based on the finding in the study the researchers provide brief summary of the study number one 
coordination and collaboration between Hibarian states as well as data and exigent information must be improved. And the application of integrated river basin management must be applied that will enable efficiency. Number two, irrigation efficiency should be used by switching from flood irrigation to sprinklers or drips. Number three, dams should be built to improve water availability of whole year and the regulation constant flow because it is hydrology water uh, water deflict, def, uh, deficit during dry months and surplus during wet seasons. Finally, my limitation of the study is time limitation. The time given was not sufficient to conduct such this important research, which needs more time to review uh, a lot of look different dimension, both current and future crop production. That limitation, that limitation was also one of the major challenges in Somalia, lack, lack of consequence data from time to time, lack of libraries, both of institution research of capital city, Mogadishu, and national library in Somalia, lack of access in internet libraries due to the Bargesi method in well, lack of access of most journalists of most journalists in the other publication in other publication so that we acknowledge the fact that work was not perfect where therefore welcome your comments and constructive criticism and hope of breach the labs in the work and the making further research on similar topic more effective thank you Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Idris. So I'll start by asking you, what was your reason for choosing this specific topic? Yes. What was your reason for choosing this specific topic? As you know, water mm -hmm. is very important for life mm -hmm. uh, and think, uh, water uh, stress conditions varies from country to other. Mm -hmm. For example, mm -hmm. Somalia, water mm -hmm. resources are limited in terms of quantity and quality, while the economic backbone of the country directly or indirectly depends on agriculture sector mm -hmm. via crop livestock. So mm -hmm. that uh, my research is uh, and very important to focus the water scarcity. Okay. So in, in finding, uh, in going through, for you to do your research, what are the challenges that you faced? Okay. Uh, repeat me. I'm asking the challenges that you faced while doing your research. Yes, yes. The challenges, uh, the, uh, as an uh, online, students mostly the challenge uh, is time for okay. balancing the time to use a job and collecting data mm -hmm. uh, after collapse of somalia government uh, there was no climate data uh, swallowing and foul were the main source of climate uh, data my, 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 my data almost come uh, to a uh, foul and swelling of organization. I have not understood you the last part. Your data did what? Sorry. Sorry. Uh, you've said that what happened to your data? What happened to the data? The data was very uh, the, the data for, for, for very scarcity. What is scarcity? Mm -hmm. What is scarcity? And uh, used to uh, and, 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 uh, 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 swallowing and, 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 and 
Fau and Swalim. Okay. So let's say you had uh, someone wanted to come and do the same research that you've done. What were the things that you would advise the person when doing the research? Repeat again. What would be your advice to someone who wants to do the same research topic like you have done? What advice will you give them as they are going to be collecting their data, the analysis, and everything? Uh, somehow it is very difficult for long uh, job, so that uh, I, I will I, I will I will come to to say uh, I will to say uh, to to uh, to ensure to climate data. For the several uh, for the several decades, and finally, and finding the research gap is an uh, research gap because of serious uh, droughts and water scarcity and water scarcity. Mm -hmm. Somalia, this is the huge problem. This is the huge problem, and and and. Uh, and uh, very complex uh, issue for and uh, to get data to get data. So, will that be the advice you'll give them? Will give you? Will you give someone that advice? Because I, I don't think you've understood my question. Okay, repeat me. I have asked you if someone was to come to you for advice in regards to the same topic you've done, and they wanted to do the same topic. What would be the advice? What would you tell them to major in? How would you tell them to be collecting their data? Okay. My, my, my advice yes. to add this age gap. Mm -hmm. Because I, I have not uh, done this. I have done this. So we'll, uh, he will add uh, some uh, more serious uh, uh, jobs. And research and, 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 and uses several softwares and, 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 and uh, which have been helped. Mm -hmm. Okay. Madam Chair, do you have some questions for Mr. Idris? Okay, yes. Thank you very much. Okay. Mr. Um, Idris, thank you for your work. I love your topic. Um, my first concern is, um, what did you? What sources do you think you can tell your uh, uh, your you, you can advise your country to to get as an alternative source of water while the challenge is still going on? Because the fact that you've just written on it don't mean that the government will just solve the problem immediately. What other sources like do you think you can advise people to use while trying to fight the challenge of water in your community. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, Professor, repeat me. Uh, this uh, is not make it clear. What other sources of water do you have around that people can use as alternative while the government is still fighting the challenge of water in your community? So, uh, there is a, a independent of organization working in uh, uh, this sector, like uh -huh. uh, Walim and FAO, an NGO. Uh, of, uh, the, that's the, uh, the good work for data, for the, this available data. Yeah? Even uh, World Bank. And, and and UN they uh, the organization. Mr. Idris. Yes. Okay. Where do you think where do you think people in your community can get water from apart from maybe pipe bomb water? Which other sources of water do you have in your community? How do people get water in your community? Rainfall, rainfall, demand, uh, rainfall, the demand and rainfall and river. Okay. The rainfall is so, have you, 
have you thought of other ways that uh, people can 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 use that rainfall and uh, river water to, to be healthy enough for the purpose you are you are advising? Yes. Okay. So, what are the ways you've thought of that can help people? The rainwater and the, the um, river water. What are some ways that you thought that it can make the water healthy for people to use, considering the situation of the of the country itself now? Yes. Hello. People. People are uh, uh, demand industrial, uh -huh. and, and and also a pure water. Huh? Uh -huh. But in agriculture, independence for uh, uh, rainfall. So the for that uh, the four years is lack of uh, rain. Irrigation. Okay. irrigation make dam and rainfall coming okay all right so those dams can they be used even in the dry season sorry uh, the, uh, the network is uh, connection is uh, very good the, the the dams the dams you've mentioned can they be useful in the dry season too or it's only when you have rainfall uh, it's used only for a uh, dry season when when a uh, dry season only the people they will use okay thank you because thank you very much dry. Okay, thank you, Madam Pauline. I think I'm I'm done with him. Yes. yes. Thank you Hello. very much, Hello. Madam. Also, thank you very much, Mr. Idris. Uh, we're going to go to the next student who is going to be Mr. Abdul Fatah. Mr. Abdul Fatah, are you ready? Off your mic, Mr. Idris. You can off your mic. Thank you very much. Yes. You hear me? Yes, Mr. Abdul yes, Fatah. Yes, I can hear you. Okay. But we can't see you. We need to see you, please. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Abdul Fatah, as your as you own your video. Yes. Your, your topic is about more older livestock farmers' knowledge, attitude, practices, and perception towards vaccination case study in the Nile district, Panadi region, Somalia. Yes. Okay, you can proceed with your presentation, please. Can I start? Yes, yes. you can. Thank you. Please, your mic must be on. Your video must be on. I think it's on it's just his camera that is not the best. Camera is poor. Yeah, yes. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Please, Mr. Abdul, kindly start with your presentation. Hello. Yes, yes go ahead. We are listening.
عاد افتح انا ابغى اشيل مثلا عاد افتح وفق هي تكبر ياسين تو ياسين ما في الوضع مستر عبد الفاتح بيكوز يو ليف اي ثينك وي شود جو تو مستر ياسين مستر ياسين ار يو ريدي فور يور برزنتيشن يس ام ريدي Okay. Uh, so your topic, Mr. Yassin, is about uh, okay. uh, prevalence and identification of exodid ticks infesting camel in Badia Gedo, Somalia. Right? Mr. Yassin. Hello? Tereyasin, where is the الو دكتور ياسين Okay. Hello, Dr. Yassin. افتح افتح رابع رابع وقت يا جو سيرابي Mr. Abu Abdul Fatah, are you ready? Okay. Okay, you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. You can proceed. Okay, thank you. Okay, first, my topic is the small 
small holders clubs to farmers knowledge, attitude, practice, and perception towards vaccination. The case study was Daniele. As you know, Somalia, uh, Somalia livestock has major important role, and livestock continues globally 40% of the global value of agricultural output and supports food, food security and livelihood of billions of people. In Africa, livestock, in Africa, livestock, in Africa, Livestock derived food items contribute up to 30% of agricultural gross domestic products. In Somalia, livestock production accounts for 60 and 65% of gross domestic products. The statement of problem, as you know, madam, uh, as you know, madam, smallholder production is constrained by a lot of challenges. The preference. Diseases are the most common effects, whether by viral or bacterial. Economic loss associated with morbidity, mortality, and cost of vaccination, treatment of disease, significance. Significance affects food security and contributes to livestock production and agricultural gross domestic production by the country. Additionally, 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 there is a lack of knowledge in a smallholder's attitude to its practice and perception of, about vaccination. The second object, uh, objective is the first question uh, and the first object, objective is to determine primary knowledge, attitude to its animal vaccine, to determine primary needs and preference with the concern of uh, to animal vaccine, to identify the knowledge of vaccine significance in the annual district. This stage design was cross-sectional design, and it was quantitative. Sample size was almost 56 respondents. The, the key respondents comprised to, uh, 12 veterinary professionals and four livestock holders and four, four livestock holders. I used the formula, which is a Lovenist formula. The research instruments were, uh, and I used it were questionnaire, the data. Is processed and analyzed using Excel and SBSS results. The major constraints of uh, livestock greening were droughts, disease, and marketing problems, and also availability of vaccine. The disease control measures that and the, the people of that uh, area use it for um, prevention of environmental contamination. The most prevalent animal disease were CPP, rhabdomyosis, and, and anthrax. I asked it, have you ever vaccinated your livestock? They said yes, 89.3%. No, 1.8 percent. If you get vaccine, where where do you get your vaccine? They said the local NGOs, whether Benalba, Pau, Minister of Livestock, and sometimes from the market. Where do you keep your vaccine? They said almost the room uh, store. They store their rooms, refrigerators. Who administered the vaccine? They say they say 29, 23.2 farmers and 76.6 they, they, they said veterinarians. Vaccine status, the vaccine they use are updated or outdated. They said and almost they are out, updated. Discussion, the of production have the main backbone of Somali economy for money. Centuries. This most, uh, most important source of food income and most smallholder farmers. The objective of this study is to find the small order is from uh, knowledge, attitude, practice, and perception to this vaccine. The case study was Daniel. And moreover, the result agreed. And the attitude and practice, perception, and vaccination was good and was clearer 
and according to the majority, uh, majority of the respondents who were representing 67.9% of livestock followers uh, aware and 10.8% of them, they believe it is harmful thing and having concern and fearful. On the other hand, 21.4% of the participants have no idea whether it is useful or harmful. Or harmful. I will start show you that 82% of vaccine status was up to date according to respondent participation. 17.9% of the participants response mentioned vaccine. They usually probably outdated and use their animals in updated one. In conclusion, according to our research, our findings support that small and smallholder risk families. Uh, knowledge, attitude, and practice and perception is towards vaccine is good and smell. And, and, and small health risk communities are very clear about the usage, storage, and perfection of the, uh, of the vaccination. Lastly, recommendation the researcher recommend that the government and international partners encourage small health risk use effectively and efficiently. The good and updated vaccine should be made available for smallholder risk farmers. The smallholder risk farmers should be given training from, from time to time regarding vaccination against livestock disease to organize a team of extension to visit the rural communities and give them workshops about the importance and benefits of vaccine. So, while government and other international NGOs should the first campaign vaccination against livestock disease and has impact that has impact the production and food security. Thank you. Okay. Um thank you very much, Mr. Abdul Fattah. So in your research, when you were doing your research, were you were you going educating the people in regards to the topics that you've written? Were you educating the small livestock farmers? Yes, yes. As you know, as you know, Somali community, 60 percent, they mm -hmm. are all, almost the they are uneducated, especially those who are rearing the animals. Mm -hmm. They are uneducated, so that our advice is to make an uh, extension surface, extension surface or mobile team to that that area and give them lessons and guidelines to them in order to get uh, uh, to, to go into this uh, surface. According to your data analysis, uh, was it taken positively or negatively? Now today, in Somalia mm -hmm. are migrating into urban areas. Mm -hmm. With their livestock, with their mm -hmm. livestock, mm -hmm. and Mogadishu is the capital city of Somalia and mm -hmm. has millions of animals are rearing here. So that, and in previously they refuse the vaccine, and now they are they are ready for their uh, animals to be vaccinated. Okay. Madam Chair, any further question as we proceed? Your mic is off. All right, thank you. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Yes, yes, yes. Hello? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, I want you to, to, to tell me your, your recommendations that you gave in regards to the challenges you mentioned. What are your personal recommendations that you've given that you think can be implemented? And I give them many advice. One of them is um, to come and uh, extension and uh, surface offices or training offices, or sometimes. We, are, we give them advice and, and, and telephones. 
get more information about this surface. Okay. Mm. Okay. Were you able to meet some persons one on one in regards to this? Yes. Yes. Since they they live in Mogadishu, and uh, and no more um, problems in, in the side of transportation, we can read them. We can get by telephone. When you compare to the other areas they live in rural areas, you can't communicate them. But in, when, you, uh, when you are dealing with these guys, and you can you can communicate easily. Okay. So in regards to your work, which other aspects do you think in the future you still have to, to touch? Which in other important part do you think you've not taught in this work? Maybe due to the challenges you had, what you think is very necessary to be to be to be worked on. Maybe by another researcher or by you to continue when you are doing your PhD. Yes. I would recommend the other 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 people to uh, investigate further. And by the side, they can change the methodologies. They can use uh, and, and other designs of research. And since it's I I get a lot of challenges by the side of time. Sometimes it's and year year by year, and the people they become updated. It's this surface, because they get this surface uh, really. Okay. So as a master student in your field, what are the most important and essential things that you need to know that you think somebody can easily identify you as a mess as the master student because when you say you're a master student that means you have a mastery of of your field you have a mastery of your 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 course your courses so yes. what are some basic things you think as a master student you, become, you, you are supposed to when you want to become a professional by, by your side do you understand you, the question yeah Do you understand my question? Okay. Yes, as master students. Go ahead, go ahead. Yes, yes. Yes, you need your professional must be effective and efficient. And as you know, when you are master students, the people they expect money many areas to be solved to that problem in that community. Somalia has a lot of livestock. And still, they didn't utilize them. So that, as much as I, I want to uh, uh, increase the awareness of the, our community and get this surface easily. Okay. So what what will be your two target uh, awareness that you think is very necessary for your community to have? two main important ideas i think they, they don't really know what is necessary for them to know and you like to impact that knowledge in them yes the two uh, necessary recommendations that i gave them is first to be educated education can bring behavior change first to be educated especially informal education informal education that can bring Okay. In transformation of their knowledge, attitude, practice, and action. First, to increase their awareness and education. Okay, meaning you intend to create maybe workshops. Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can create. I can give them extension surface. Yes, I can get. Uh, I can give them seminars, workshops, and sometimes and. Uh, I give, I give them okay. and, and to go there as a mobile team. All right. Okay, that will be all from me, madam. Thank you. Okay, that was a very interesting topic. Uh, Miss Ondura. Miss Frida, I've seen you had raised your hand. Do you have any question for Mr. Abdul Fattah?
Um, <clears throat> yes, yes, madam. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity. I'd like to ask Mr. Abdul Faha uh, some few questions regarding his presentation. Yes, Mr. Abdul. Yes, I can hear you. You say that. Uh, yes, you say that. Uh, we are having a challenge in hearing. You say that ninety-six percent of the farmers are uneducated. And then you, you, you say that they refuse, the fat refuse uh, for to be vaccinated, but now they are ready for them to be vaccinated. Ms. Frida, um, having a challenge. Hello, can you hear me now? Communication, no. Your communication is not clear. Can you get me? Oh, yeah. Yes. Hello? Yes, yes, continue. Can you get me now? I think my network is breaking. Are you able to get yeah. me? Continue. Yes, thank you, uh, Mr. Mr. Abdul. I would like to ask you, you say that 96% of the Somalis are educated. And then you also mentioned that the first refuse. I would like to know, how did you convince the farmers to accept for the animals to be vaccinated? Yes. Uh, as you know, Somalia is a devastating country. And there is poor surface in terms of uh, tennis surface and other medical that we use it for, for human. Now they they become updated, they get these surfaces where the front really previously they get uh, as uh, they, they buy from market. Now, but um, when we are talking about the vaccination, they are donated by the, uh, the UN or FAO, and it is free normally. And it's available and it is uh, sub, uh, provided by uh, uh, large professional associations. Okay, so they they were able to accept the cause the vaccinations are provided it's free. freely to the free. yes. Hello, Miss Frida. Hello. Um. Okay. Hello. Yes. Hello? Yes, please. Hello. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Thank okay. You. Thank, you. Thank you so much, Mr. Abdul Fattah, for your presentation. Our next is going to be Mr. Yasin. Are you prepared? Yeah. Uh, Mr. Abdul Fattah, you can switch off your mic now. Thank you. So, did you hear me? Yes, 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 I can hear you. Your topic is about prevalence and identification of exodid ticks infesting camel in Bavia, Somalia. Yes, yes. Okay, you can proceed, please. Okay. 
Let me share my screen. Hello? Proceed. Okay. So did you hear me now? Hello? Yes, yes, in, yes, in. We can hear you. Continue. Okay. Um my topic is uh prevalence yes. and fish identification of uh exotic come exotics of camel in the Alaxi Iran region of Somalia. Uh, my name is Yasin and I would like to present this topic. Uh, first of all, uh, introduction or background of the study. Ticks are obligate parasites of feed, uh, feeding parasites of cetacean vertebrates and they have worldwide distribution and cause different uh, disease and different injury to the animal uh, body. Uh, in addition to that, tick can act as a factor for some pathogenic diseases such as um, viral disease, uh, bacterial disease, as well as some uh, protozoal parasites which can cause uh, very devastating to the animals. Therefore, the role of ticks in, in public health and veterinary medicine are very important uh, because of they can cause uh, some pathogenic diseases which are public health healthically important. Uh, According to the um, uh, background of ticks, tick can be uh, flown to the uh, phylum of the arthropoda and uh, class of the arachidina, and it is the family of the exotic family uh, suborder of the exotic group, and it can be classified into different uh, families. Uh, according to that, uh, ticks were grouped into three main families which the exotic die, argosidae, and an exotic die. These three families I, I specifically uh, conducted by this group of exotic die or exotic ticks, which sometimes called hat ticks. Uh, in over the world, there are around 900 species of ticks have been classified worldwide. Uh, according to the distribution of these 900 ticks, depending on the uh, climate factor and the presence of the predators, as well as um, communicative species uh, which are found in that area. Therefore, in this group of ticks, they have a stage of life cycle, which is the, that thing from uh, larva, I mean uh, eggs, then followed by the uh, lympha, uh, larva, lympha, then finally they become adult. After that, they suck the blood and become engorged, either it can be female or male. According to the problem statement, problem of uh, study uh, problems, uh, ticks can be classified into two groups, uh, parasites, external and internal parasites. Uh, therefore, specific ticks are external parasites, which are major problems to the health, productivity, and performance of the camel, so that it can cause some diseases and it can cause uh, some uh, productive problems, such as the um, skin problems, which affect the productivity of animals. Therefore, in, uh, there are many studies or related to, the, to this study, uh, which have been conducted in different parts of Somalia, but specifically in our study area, there is no specific study regarding to the prevalence of uh, and species identification of exotic. That's why I have selected this topic to bridge the gap and find out about uh, ticks. Uh, objective is so. My main objective is to investigate the prevalence and the fish identification of exotic ticks of camel in the study area. And specific of objective is, is the distribution of the prevalence of exotic ticks uh, and also uh, uh, what we call my other second specific objective is uh, to find out uh, the general and species identification of exotic ticks. Methodology, uh, study design, a cross-sectional study was conducted 
from March to the 22 up to July to determine the prevalence of the two ticks and different species of ticks. In my study population is was camel uh, due to the fact that there is a there is no stand of farms in the study area. I have conducted all species of camel, all group and species of camel to collect the, uh, ticks. Uh, from the study area. The study area is Hiran, uh, especially uh, the Lanaxi region, which is located in uh, so central Somalia, uh, uh, as you can see here, uh, to the border of the uh, Ethiopia, to the border of the Ethiopia. Sample size, I have used methods, uh, sampling methods is called by Traspi, uh, although there is no specific uh, study that has been conducted before, I have uh, taken uh, expected prevalence of the 50 percent, which is the total number of animals will be uh, was uh, 384. Uh, data collection procedure: the entire body surface of the camel was uh, examined through all the presence or through all the presence of the ticks or uh, physical ticks uh, to remove carefully and gently by using forceps. So I, I take all species and groups of animals, then I have uh, collected by using a uh, process. Uh, during collection, the, tick, uh, the collected tick was boosted or reserved by universal bottle, 70% uh, of the ethanol, in order to not change the morphological and the structure of the ticks. Then we go to the lab for further identification of um, ticks. Uh, data analysis, I use SPSS. To analyze my data after the collection, especially version 22. Uh, then I uh, use descriptive study uh, to summarize my data by using table and different ticks and the charts. Uh, result, the overall prevalence was, uh, I have taken uh, or I have examined 384 uh, animals. Then within that, Number of the infected animal was, uh, or infected animal was 297, and prevalence was 77.34, uh, which is very high uh, prevalence. Uh, specifically, these are prevalence of the ticks and association or the relation between the place that they have collected the data and the prevalence. Uh, after that, there is no specific uh, significance between the uh, location of the uh, area or origin or place of the sampling and prevalence of ticks. There is no association between uh, these two uh, variables. And I will uh, uh, describe the, uh, the reason why there is no significance in the discussion part. Here we have, uh, again, the uh, location or place of the sampling and the number of positive animals at the same time number of the negative animals. As you can see here, number of positive animals are more high than to the number of the negative animals. Number of animals, negative animals because, of the, because of the major prevalence was 77.34. Again, here we have another correlation or uh, association between the uh, prevalence and the camel sex or different sex of animals, female and the males. Male was uh, seventh, and the females were 314. And there is a significant between the prevalence of ticks and the uh, camel uh, sex. Again, here we have uh, distribution of the camel ticks in genera. There are, uh, I found three genera, which is the hyaloma, ambilioma, and the uh, Within that, there is, here is the number of the ticks that I have collected with each group, or I mean genera. And this is a relative prevalence of uh, these groups. Ribisphalus was the most prevalence, which is 74.8, followed by the uh, hyaloma. Then the lowest one is hyaloma, I mean, and ambilioma. ambilioma. Uh, again, here we have the relation between uh, female and male tissue of the ticks. Female and male tissue. Here we have the five groups of uh, five species of ticks within the seven genera. Uh, Hyaloma truncatum, uh, marginatum, Hyaloma truncatum, Ambilioma gemma, Hibisphalus pulchellus, Io Hibisphalus tyrannicus. These are the first five species of uh, ticks that I found in the study area. 
Hibisvaros Bulchelos was the most number, and this is the relative prevalence of of the study part of speech. Here we have also a female and a male ratio. Males are more ratio than the female ticks. Uh, these are almost uh, female and uh, male uh, ratio of ticks uh, with the different species. According to the discussion, I have uh, examined 384 camels. Out of that, three, uh, 297 were found to be infested by the single or different species of ticks. Then the overall, overall prevalence was 77.4. Uh, this study that I have conducted is comparable or agree with the Hussein who was uh, a study of the camel ticks in Jigjiga region, which is Ethiopia, who has uh, got uh, 82.8. And this study also disagreed by the Farah, uh, who studied, had tick distribution of camel around the Galkayo, uh, who also got um, uh, 97, which is very high according to, the, according to my result. According to the proportion of the species, uh, a species of uh, animals, a female camel, was uh, 265, and the male was very slightly higher than uh, females are high, which uh, uh, 32. Therefore, this uh, ratio or proportion agree with the uh, Moha and the Muhsin in Ethiopia. This is maybe this due to the fact that the female animal are mostly dwelling around the home for milking or for milk production and grazing area, whereas the uh, male families are mostly used for transportation, hence that uh, unstable to the uh, one area. And also, there is a close supervision of the owners of the camel, uh, according to the uh, females. Uh, in our survey on the study area, we have collected 2,191 ticks uh, within the uh, uh, of the different animals, which eight, uh, 384 animals that have been examined, uh, in that animals, five, three groups or three genera of ticks were collected. Within that, there is a uh, uh, five species, five different species, which the Hyaloma truncatum, uh, Hyaloma marginatum, Ambilioma gemma, Hibisphalus bulchelos, Hibisphalus uh, turanicus. Therefore. Hibisphalus was the most prevalent according to the other two uh, genera of the of the ticks. Uh, in that five, I mean uh, five species that I have collected, Hibisphalus polchelos, which is called zebra ticks, was the most abundant species in uh, recorded in camel, which the relative prevalence is uh, five five uh, percent, which is slightly high. The result, which was got by the Abebe in 2011 in Ethiopia, Mohammed in 2013 also Ethiopia, Yo, uh, Ayana 2013 in Ethiopia, who got 50% uh, 50, 50 46.8% uh, and 46.8%. Uh, therefore, this may be due to the climate condition of the different regions. So, Somalia is a bit hot, Ethiopia is somehow a very uh, cold place and mountain area. Uh, the reason why the Bisphalus bulchelos are high because of its ticks of the savanna and desert climate area, and it's also one of the most common uh, ticks present in Northeast African countries, which can cause, especially in specifically in Somalia, it cause uh, disease which is called Nairobi sheep disease. And the other uh, reason is there, is there may be application of apartheid and management, management practice of the different area of of the country or different uh, area of the region. Okay, according to the uh, female and the male ratio, uh, as we have said before, uh, female ratio are higher than the male ratio. This may be due to the uh, uh, ticks or female ticks. After they engorge or become fit to the animals, they drop to the uh, ground in order to lay out or to find some other uh, species or second uh, host to develop under two uh, multiple states. But according to the males, they remain permanently to the, attached to the host for several months. That's the reason why male ratio are higher than the female ratio in uh, 
balance. Conclusion, the study conducted was 77.4 uh, of all very balance of the community study area. And I have got three, I mean, five different species within three uh, genera, which the Hyloma, uh, Hypoliom, and Epispharos, these three genera. And within this genera, I got five species, Hyloma marginatum, Hyloma florcatum, and Bilioma gemma, Epispharos brucellus, Epispharos uh, coronicus. Therefore, Epispharos brucellus was found to be the most prevalent in the study area. In addition to that, uh, or followed by the other uh, four, which the Hyaloma marginatum, uh, Turanicum, Gemma, Ia, Hibisipharos, uh, 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 Turanicus. Therefore, all these species were previously reported in East Africa, including Somalia, by this uh, man in 1981. My recommendation is I recommend it to do a strategic application of acaricides, uh, especially at the beginning of the short lane and the major rainy seasons, these two parts of the rainy or before the rainy, before the rainy will be The second recommendation will be to detect the acaricide uh, with a antibiotics, which also economically important or can cause some important diseases uh, to do uh, some uh, acaricides which are not resistant to ticks. The third recommendation will be to create awareness to the livestock owners in order to uh, come up the impact or to know them, uh, uh, to inform them the impact of ticks and the other ectoparasites which are health, which are economically and healthily important for the animals. Therefore, these are ticks that I have uh, found in the study area. These are uh, Ambilioma, Gemma, male. This Epicephalus brucellus, which is the most prevalent. Sometimes in Somali locality, they call it Grabat. This is the Epicephalus brucellus, female. This is Hyaloma truncatum, uh, are the second most fish uh, in the study area. Uh, thank you for having me. Uh, if you have a question, most welcome. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Yasin. Thank you. Okay. So I have a question. What, when you are conducting this, when you were conducting this research, what were the challenges that you faced? For me, I have not, I have not faced a big challenge, but uh, during the collection of the uh, ticks, uh, the owners are not aware of the uh, problems and the impact of ticks. Sometimes when you want to collect ticks from their animals, they will not allow to collect the ticks. Therefore, they may understand that you are harming their animals. Um, uh, the other challenge was uh, transportation because of, uh, uh, now I'm not really sure the capital city of Somalia, but the location that I have collected the city is far away from. Uh, I cannot hear you clearly. Your voice is low. I wasn't hearing you. Uh, can you hear me now? Yes. Uh, the challenge that I have faced uh, during, uh, I have not faced a big challenge during my collection of uh, ticks, but uh, there are two different challenges that I faced. The one was uh, during the collection of ticks, the owners of the camel, they will not allow sometimes to collect the animal, uh, to collect ticks from their animals, because they may understand that you are harming their animals or you are transmitting some diseases. The other challenge is uh, the area of the uh, study far away from the capital city, because now I'm in Mokisho. So you need to uh, uh, need some transportation, very quick, uh, far away from the city. Thank you. Okay, so uh, you have a laboratory where you are taking, you are doing this test from? Yes, there is a parasolic laboratory in Mokisho. I used to identify different things that they have collected. Okay, and were you, when you are going to, you, you talk, you've spoken of the challenge of telling people that they, you're not harming their animals. Were you educating them on that? Yeah, I give them uh, some advice uh, that they're not harming to their animals, but mm -hmm. I'm collecting this uh, in order to know which mm -hmm. one is the prevalent area which can cause disease to some mm -hmm. of them. Therefore, some of them, they, they uh, understand that you are, you are 
device some some of them they you know they will not uh, uh, and don't and don't you think that will be maybe something that you can work on maybe educating more people who have the camels in the in that region on the benefits the prevalence and educating them yes yes uh, in Twitter, the problems of it mm -hmm. uh, that can cause the tick such as the disease you know when you tell to the disease that can cause tick some of the owners they understand the problems that can okay so uh in case someone you, you you when you started talking you said that this is a topic that has not been researched in somalia so far so what if you have someone else who wants to do the same research what would be the advices that you'll be giving the person yeah i will give them to do further studies or in the study area and a different part of somalia uh maybe i did this uh topic in the dry season. So I advise them to do in the rainy season in order to see the uh, different preparations of the, the different seasons. That's the advice that I'm talking about. Okay, thank you very much, Madam Jay. I'll let you take over. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, um, I would like to ask, Apart from uh, what you've written on, which other necessary, which other uh, uh, necessary points do you think uh, researchers still have to work on in regards to Somalia as a whole, in, the, in, in regards to maybe animals and and, and plants? Uh, Madam, sorry. Did, did you hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Okay, which other topic or which other research topic do you think still needs to be touched in, in line with your studies? Uh, you, you mean uh, which topic you, you advise to uh, research for the animals in Somalia? You mean that? Yeah, which topic? Yes, which topic will you advise another person to research on in regards to, in regards to, 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 to the things going on with the animals and livestock in Somalia? Yeah, there are a lot of many, many topics which have not been conducted in, in Somalia, especially uh, specific prevalences of different diseases which can be caused by the ticks or uh, exotic ticks. So I recommend you to study that uh, different study. Uh, and also some diseases which can be caused by that uh, ticks. At the same time, uh, according to the ticks, there is no main uh, major study that has, been, has have not been conducted in Somalia, especially some area uh, for me. Uh, I can't hear that, you. I can't hear you, please. Yeah. So I, I, I recommend you to do a uh, study of the prevalence or disease that can be caused by these ticks. So for me, I have uh, studied the prevalence of ticks only. But there is some disease which can be caused by these ticks or these parasites. Okay. Have you ever thought of uh, family uh, heritage? Maybe some methods that people inherit from their family on how to take care of their animals. Have you thought of it as a challenge as to why people will not accept growth in uh, accept some changes in regards to how to to uh, keep their animals and crop. Uh, the animals and crop in a better in a better condition yeah 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 i tell them you know uh, uh people most people they care animals for just they care animals but not for productivity then i tell them to uh, improve the productivity of animals and i also advise them uh, the importance of this uh, study for the productivity of animals which will help the productivity of animals which also uh, control the disease, how to control the disease, uh, especially this ectoparasitis, then I will give uh, uh, advice like that. Uh, Mr. Husseini, I'm asking, have you thought of uh, family family legacy as a, as a challenge as to why people don't uh, take the advice that gives to them? 
have you thought of it as a, as a, as a barrier? Do you think it's a barrier? Family heritage, maybe the way their, their forefathers have been doing it, maybe the way their parents were doing it before they took over the animals. You think it's a challenge to, 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 yes. to bring in change to them? Yes, it's a challenge, you know. Uh, okay, well, how so? They, they, they use animals only for, but they hear animals, they utilize animals just for small uh, 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 needs that you want, but not for productivity, for improve their genetic of animals. You know. Yeah, yeah, therefore there is a gap between the uh, veterinary as well as the, uh, the rural area or traditional methods that they use. Therefore, they need to improve the way they was bearing their animals. They they were having the animals for extensive, extensive. Therefore, they have to use, I recommend them to use intensification of animals to improve the productivity of animals. okay so does um my last question is this does the number of animal a, a farmer has does he have any role to play in the traditional society of your of your your country sorry does the number of animals a person have does he have a role i mean the number of animals each person has does he have a role to play in, in your traditional in your society in your country in somalia okay. yes 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 you know um in somalia livestock is according to the gbt 60 percent of uh, gbt uh, livestock plate 60 percent of the gbt of the productivity of uh, of the somalia therefore we can say that uh, somali society they mainly depend on the uh, livestock productivity and production uh, therefore the the number of animals is also uh, attractive. Oh. Okay, so in other words, I think one of the things you should be thinking about yes. as a master student, one of the advantages you should be giving them in regards to why they should take care of their, their livestock better is that yes. it will increase the number they have so that it can yes. go down from generation to generation. That is correct, right? Yes. yes. So they have to understand, you have to make them understand first that the way the, the way they, they take care of the animals will influence the number of animals they will be able to keep from generations to generations. So if they are not if they don't take care of the animals well, if they don't take the advice you are giving them as a as a vet, their animals may be dying or the product the production the productivity yeah. may not be, be, be well or healthy. So they have to take the advice you are giving them in order to make sure that they keep that number and that family lineage, which like you've made me to understand is a tradition for for, for somalians you understand yes yeah I understand that. at the same time in addition to that okay thank you madam for the that was all for you that'll be all from me madam pauline thank you uh thank you very much and also thank you very much, Mr. Yasin, for your eloquence. That was very nice. Uh, I think this is the end of our defense for today. Thank you for all who participated. Um, I wish you all a lovely, a lovely evening. Thank you very much. You shall get your results very soon. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much. OK. Good evening. Thank you very much. Good evening. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. What did you say? Thank you. What? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that.